many of you, especially those without children, you probably have no idea what this picture behind me is showing. Well, it's called W sitting, and it's actually a pretty controversial subject among parents and physicians, with those who say it's perfectly safe and normal, and those who say it should be outlawed completely. We spoke with two professionals right here in Bowling Green to find out once and for all, what's the deal with W sitting? Uh, Bryn is a very energetic child. She's into everything. She um, is a lot of fun. She likes to laugh, likes to play. I don't know if we could have asked for a better daughter. Something else Bryn likes to do is sit like this, with her bottom on the ground and her legs to the side, shaped like a W. When I see her sitting that way, I just think they cannot be that comfortable, or if it is, it can't be normal because I never sit that way. So it's something that like we've just made an effort to prevent or to stop. Search W sitting online and you'll find numerous articles warning parents against letting their children sit this way. Of course, you should never take internet research at face value. So we sought the advice of a few experts, including Dr. Kelly Kreiss, a well-known pediatrician in Bowling Green, who's quite familiar with the subject. I, I don't W sit now, I can't W sit now, but I was a W sitter as a kid growing up. Dr. Kreiss says kids aren't likely to continue any behavior that causes them pain. And W sitting is a perfect example of what she calls medical dogma, something people firmly believe, but isn't necessarily true. It comes from just being a pediatrician and seeing the natural history of things. Um, for instance, in towing, bow legged, all these things they used to have significant correction for the big Forrest Gump and um, he had the leg braces on but we, in actuality those things resolve naturally. There are a few red flags Dr. Christ looks for like sharp pains, limping and abnormal growth patterns but for the most part if your kid's doing well just relax have fun enjoy him it goes so quick. We also spoke with Dr. John Birch an orthopedic surgeon here in western Kentucky who's seen his fair share of W sitters as well. If you sit around a kindergarten class it's really common probably one children that one child of every five children has that uh, sitting style preferred. Unlike Dr. Kreiss, Dr. Birch is a firm believer in stopping this behavior when it starts to avoid the potential harm it can cause, like in towing, or what's commonly referred to as being pigeon towed. That's what parents usually bring these children in for is because they're in towing. In towing can sometimes lead to the child having their feet hit together as they walk, causing them to trip or fall. Of course, in towing is fairly common and in milder cases can actually increase agility and performance in athletes. Yet another reason why some parents argue W sitting isn't that big a deal. There are a lot of critics out there that say this is the classic example of overparenting and they sat this way and they're fine. What would you say to those parents? If you don't mind a little bit of in towing when you get older, that's not a problem. I think it's uh, advisable if you want a more normal gait and to make your kids walk with a more normal gait that's more socially acceptable. That's the main thing. As for Bryn, Austin says he'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm not a doctor, I'm not an expert, but it was a decision we made as parents to just correct it, you know, if we can, and to stay on top of it because we would rather her not have to grow up with any kind of problems with her legs. So there you have it. One topic, two completely different opinions, both backed up by scientific studies and research. I wish I could tell you once and for all if W sitting should be fixed or forgotten, but this is one issue you'll have to decide on for yourself.